This is a group of exercises that you might find helpful if you're suffering from sciatica pain. As always, make sure you seek advice if your pain is ongoing and take these gently and slowly. The last thing you want to be doing is pushing into too much pain or overstretching. So first of all, you're gonna lie on your back and we're going to do the bridge. So you are resting on the floor, feet in line with your hips, and really find your feet on the floor. So you have those three points underneath your feet, center of your heel, base of your big toe, base of your little toe. And you're gonna stand into your feet, let your pelvis tilt, tailbone's gonna lift, knees reaching away from you so that your hips come up into a shoulder bridge. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. As you breathe out, you're gonna lower from your breastbone, lay your spine back down onto the mat, let your bottom relax. And we're gonna repeat that. Stand into your feet, roll up, reach the knees away. You're gonna try and make your bottom and your hamstrings on the back of your thighs do the work. And then soften your spine down. Let your hips and your bottom relax as you come to the bottom of the exercise. With your breathing, see if you can breathe out to come up. Breathe in at the top of the bridge. You're keeping the control through the front of your body and breathe out as you lower back down. You're getting good movement through your spine here, gentle gliding through the area where your sciatic nerve travels through your lumbar spine and through the back of your pelvis. And you're also really working the muscles deep in your core, your deep abdominals, your pelvic floor, and your bottom muscles and hamstrings. So we're working on stabilizing around the hips, pelvis, and spine, so that we can offload any tension that you might be feeling on the nerve. Breathing out as you stand into your feet, reach the knees away from you. We're getting some nice opening up through the front of your hips and lowering back down again. Let's do two more. So you might make these movements quite small to begin with and gradually work your way into it. What we want to be careful of avoiding is overdoing the movement from your spine. So you don't wanna be lifting the ribs. You wanna keep that connection and make all of the movement come from your hips. So just lay the spine back down, melt your spine back down onto the mat, relax your bottom muscles.